arguments, fights, they happen at high schools from time to time, but fight clubs, that would be illegal. Fight club, like the movie, a substitute teacher now is facing charges in connection with a fight club during school hours at Montville High School. News 8's Tina Detell explains. Many may find the details in this arrest warrant disturbing. The students were 16, 15, and 14 years old, and they were unevenly matched. Now, we're talking about slap fighting across the face and head, one student throwing up. This says the teacher then encouraged him to continue to fight after he stopped stumbling around. Continue to fight after the kid was already hurt. But never mind that, that he's even letting this go on. It's just crazy. Police say 23-year-old Ryan Fish of Basra ran what was like a fight club in his classroom at Montville High School. Cell phone video telling the disturbing story. Police say Fish was heard giving the fighting students direction and at one time says, away from the door, away from the door. The audio also captures the sounds of multiple hard hits the students are receiving throughout the fights. All I knew was that teacher was letting kids fight. And I mean, I didn't really know much about it, didn't really care to know much about it. The substitute math teacher was brought down to the principal's office, and his explanation, boys will be boys. He also said where he grew up in the country, boys do stuff like that. We should not allow people like that in our schools. We should have further background checks to see more what they're about and their experience level. I heard that he, he liked, kids liked him, you know, he had a relationship with some of the students, too. Yeah. Fish faces several charges of reckless endangerment and risk of injury to a child. Hopefully they give him what he deserves. As soon as school officials found out about this fighting, Fish was fired October 10th. But police didn't find out about this until December. After a social worker reported that one of the students who had been in juvenile court had what she called real and identifiable symptoms of having been traumatized. In Montville, Tina Detell. Who's eight?